Hi, welcome to the mathcenter.com. In this video, we are going to look at a problem that was given in a recent IGC SC Ed Maths exam, and it is the paper 2 of the February March 2015. This question appeared in that paper, it's question number 4. Again, it's IGCSE ADMATS paper 2, February, March 2015. We are looking at question number 4. Two parts to the problem. Part A, we are asked to differentiate sin x cos x with respect to x. WRT means with respect to x. Uh, you are asked to give your answer in terms of sin x. You can read the question. Uh, in detail in the question paper, I've just given you a summary here. Okay, first part differentiate sin x cos x with respect to x. Answer in terms of sin x. And uh, in part b, we are asked to find the integral of sin squared x with respect to x. Again, we are asked to uh, hence find the integral of sin squared x dx. Okay, we, are, we have a total of six points for both these parts. Uh, three points each. So let's start with the first part. A. We're going to differentiate sine x cos x. Let's say we write it as let y equals to sine x cos x. Just a point to note, once you get to A levels, this will be much easier because you would have learned more formulas. But right now, let's take the IGCSE approach. So let y equals to sine x cos x. So we will use the, the product rule, okay, or the UV rule. This will be U and this will be V. So first write down U and we differentiate V. When you differentiate cos x, you'll get minus sine x plus write down v and differentiate u when you differentiate sin x you will get cos x we are done with the differentiation now we need to clean up and give the examiner the answer in the form that he wants it so we will have minus sin squared x plus cos squared x so you're asked to give your answer in terms of sine x. So let's clean that up a little bit. We have minus sine squared x. What is cos squared x? 1 minus sine squared x. Okay, we know that sine squared x plus cos squared x is 1. So cos squared x is 1 minus sine squared x. So I have minus sine squared x plus 1 minus sine squared x. I can write my final answer as 1 minus 2 sine squared x and we are done with part a